Look who I have. Okay, I'm gonna put him down because I probably hates me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy second day of fall. Fall is upon us. It's just it's just great. Fall is my all-time favorite season. Halloween and then Thanksgiving and then all the holidays come afterwards and it's just a great time to be alive. If you haven't seen my last video, my last video was Panda! So in this video, I'm going to show you guys another fall lookbook. I went to Torrid and I did a little inside the dressing room and I actually picked up two pieces. So in this video, I'm showing you guys the outfits that I've created with those two pieces, the basic look that you can create, and then how you can accessorize each of the pieces. So if you guys like to save money and if you guys like to make multiple looks with one piece instead of just wearing one piece with one outfit, um, this is a great way where I can show you how you can switch up accessories and different pieces to create a couple looks with just one piece. If that makes sense. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I've been doing this for a good minute and I still have no idea what side it's on. Go ahead and click that red button down below if you want to see more plus size fashion videos and beauty related videos on this channel. Oh my god, words and English is so hard when you're sick. Without further ado, if you guys want to see the four looks that I've created with these two different torn pieces, so the first piece that I picked up was this really cute red flat skirt and it was like overalls too and it's just a piece that I've never really seen anywhere else so I just thought it was the cutest epic thing. If you are a Harry Potter nerd, what was brilliant is that it, they had a Harry Potter collection. The plaid skirt itself had a Gryffindor symbol on it which I think is great because Team Gryffindor. So how I paired this up was very simple because I wanted the plaid to completely stand out. I wore just black underneath it. So I had a black long sleeve shirt and then black leggings and black boots. In between summer to fall or you're in fall and it's still kind of cool outside, it's, it's a great outfit to wear to keep you covered when it's not super cold outside. Now, when it does get a little chillier and you want to accessorize it a bit more, here's what you can do. Go ahead and layer it on. Layer on a leather jacket and then layer on a scarf. I kept it simple and black because I did want the red to pop out so I kept the outfit completely black but you can always switch it up. You can have a gray t-shirt tucked in. You could even have a white t-shirt tucked in and then layer it over with a, another layer. So play around with the different colors. Play around with the different accessories that you can layer on over. That's how you can really switch up an outfit. Now the second look is this this guy right here and it's a blanket scarf. Blanket scarves are great because you can wear something super simple and super basic underneath it. Throw on a blanket scarf like this and people think you put effort into it when in reality you're literally walking around with a blanket. <laughs> First look I have a more casual look. Um, it's I just have light denim on and I have a white white top and then I have the blanket scarf and I have a tan purse and brown boots so that's what I'm going for I'm going for like the browns type of look or casual day to day you could even throw on a hat if you want to and that's like one way you can accessorize it now if you want to take it from day to night this is where you could switch out uh, some of the pieces to completely transform the look for the nighttime all I did is I took off my my light denim and I put on some dark denim and actually those are dark jeggings um, especially if you're throwing boots over it because they're so thin the boots can easily um, come over your boots or your legs and then instead of having the brown boots I put on a black thigh high boots and they're heels so they're going to make you look a little rougher and then I switched out my brown bag with my black bag because I wanted to have that same color scheme. thing that I really love about this blanket scarf alone is because it has both brown details and black details. So you can really switch um, up what type of color scheme you want to go for and it will still go with it. And then I have a simple hoop earring as my hair is tied. I think it's just a cute detail to have um, if your hair is tied. Yeah, and also guys, happy fall. Do you guys have a fall bucket list? Let me know in the comments down below what is on your fall bucket list. I think the main thing I want to go on this year is I I just want to have a fall night where I do pumpkin carving and bake pumpkin things and have friends over and watch scary movies and all of that. But let me know in the comments down below what are you most excited about for fall and even fall fashion. What's your favorite fall fashion piece? I feel like I'm asking for a lot in the comments, but I just want to get to know you guys. Let me know down below your thoughts of fall and your favorite fall fashion piece. And that, I will see you guys next time. And cut.